you got anything to you got anything for Ortiz versus Lopez? Uh, cause I'm, like my shit is like really simple. Okay, uh, I got it's. I'm looking forward to the fight. Uh, Jermaine Ortiz. I don't know if you remember when we was in uh, New York for the Taylor Lopez. J- Jermaine Ortiz was actually on the card. Then all of a sudden, Jermaine Ortiz disappeared off the card. So he's had some weight issues. I think what is that? What what is that? Lightweight? One thirty five. One thirty five is light. So the, his last two fights, Sean, one didn't happen, and one was at a catch weight. Mm-hmm. So he's this is actually his first fight at one forty versus the man at one forty. Yeah. So that's gonna be interesting. But I mean, this guy Jermaine Ortiz is a tough knife for anybody. He gave Lomachenko all he wanted in. So yeah. Uh, thing about To is that every time you talk, call, uh, count To out. So I could put a massive performance on. <laughs> uh, just what T.O. going to show up, I think that's the biggest mm-hmm. question mark. If the T.O. that fought Lomachenko and fought Taylor shows up, easy night work. If any of those T.O.'s in the middle of that shows up, fight could be fight fights up in the air. And I still think that Ortiz has what it takes to just offset T.O. 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 and T.O. make T.O. it T.O. a good competitive fight. Okay. A, a, a great version. Mm-hmm. The best version of of Lopez can come to the ring and still find himself struggling with a fighter who will use this bounce, will use this feint, will use an off rhythm jab, and some other things that will get you off of your rhythm. I I this is what I say about the people who make the the betting odds. Mm-hmm. They just going off the name. The people that make the betting odds, they're not looking at styles make fights. They're not looking at what this dude does well, what this dude don't do well, how this fight really matches up, and who's going to win this fight. they just going off the names. Hey, don't play with them guys like that. They've been on their ish. But with this one, okay, I really I want to go with the name. I feel like it's safe to go with the name. I just don't know what Jermaine Ortiz has in his I'm pocket. To find the odds right now. I don't know what he got in his pocket. Besides being a tough knight, just a, a, a rugged and tough fighter. I mean, he's seventeen, he one and one. Rugged. Sean, he's gonna be rugged. He's gonna be tough. He gonna, you know what I mean? Again, like he's he gets you off your rhythm. He gets you off your game. He's just a really good boxer, and I think it's it's time for y'all to see more of this. It's time for y'all to see guys who ha- who do not have superstar attached to their name challenge these superstars and show you that. When t- when 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 Floyd was was retiring, somebody said, "Yo, are you are you trying to replace Floyd?" I said, "Why do I have to replace Floyd? Mm-hmm. Why can't it be a bunch of us that replace Floyd?" You know what I mean? I really don't think it was a matter of me doubting myself so much. It was a matter of me recognizing that. It's a lot of good boxing, a lot of good fighters in this world. Y'all just know about the one. And so y'all don't give a damn about everybody else until this one is gone. And now, now y'all looking for another one. Why not look look at the 7, the 8, the 10 that's just in this division alone? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's a good division. It's going to be a good fight. Um, I, 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 I find it hard seeing Tiafimo Lopez lose, but at the same time, I, I really don't know what the fight's going to look yeah, like. Yeah, the odds is um, Yeah, I tell you, I, I would tell you to bet on, 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 on Lopez, but yeah, on, um, it could be some good on, close rounds. DraftKings.com, uh, negative... T.O. is negative 700, so you got to bet $700 to win $100. Yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, and uh, Jermaine Ortiz is plus four, 450. So, yeah. I mean, and also, I mean, I think that's going to be a great main event. I'm looking forward to that. But uh, we got Abdullah Mason, Emiliano. Mason, Mason. Yeah, yeah. We got Keyshawn Davis versus Joe Peraza in the oh, co main event. Nice car. Mm hmm. So, nice yeah, car. and uh, we might show up early. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, we're going, ain't we? Yeah. Yeah, we're supposed to be going. See y'all Thursday.